All right, for this next uh, system, we're going to go over the lymph nodes and the glands that are superficial and that you can palpate. This is sort of a mini system, but you want to go uh, be sure that you do look at all these things. Now, Dr. Forney went over some of them and mentioned them when she went over the skin, but let me review them for you. Remember, you're, uh, in this area, you have your submandibular, mandibular lymph nodes. There are some salivary glands under here, too, that you want to pay attention to. This area gets uh, swollen and uh, quite involved when you have respiratory infections, or pharyngeal infections. Remember that there's a lot of lymphoid tissue all over the head area here, so sometimes you'll get swelling of lymph nodes that you don't even know there's a lymph node there until it, it swells and abscesses, perhaps. This swelling right in here is actually the parotid salivary gland. Uh, it's quite prominent on some horses. Uh, you see it better than other horses. Underneath here, you have a parotid lymph node, which uh, can sometimes get swollen. You have a, what we call the cervical chain of lymph nodes running down here, right, right around the area of the juggler groove and the carotid uh, artery under there. Uh, so there's just a lot of lymphoid tissue there too. As you move back over the, with the animal, you have your prescapular lymph node, which is located right in this area, so you have to dig under that muscle a bit. Usually don't feel that unless the, uh, it's really swollen um, and enlarged, then you can sometimes palpate it. Move back further here, you have a prefemoral lymph node. Again, you usually don't find it unless it's swollen. Then the other uh, major lymph nodes would be things that you're going to feel with rectal examination. So you go in rectally, but in this level you'll feel the, uh, you can perhaps find the iliac lymph nodes. You always want to look for them. And then sometimes you're able to feel some lymph nodes associated with the mesentery. Again, uh, usually we, they're not very prominent at all. If they are prominent, if you find them easily, uh, you start to worry that they may be abnormal. So those are the things that we uh, try to look for, uh, primary places that we look for the superficial lymph nodes and the glands. And um, let's go on to our next system.